Hi, John Maxwell here. Welcome to Minute with Maxwell. There's something I've wanted to share for some time that I've been kind of working on thinking about, and, and I thought I would share it with you. So this is going to be a series, and we're going to title our series Upfront Expectations. And let me kind of explain to you what I mean by that. As a young leader, I didn't do this well at all. In fact, I, I failed miserably in this area. Let, let me explain. I would, I would begin to develop a relationship with a person, and uh, maybe I could see that there was perhaps some things that would be better I could correct about this person or improve in their life or tweak them some, but I wouldn't deal with it. And I wouldn't deal with it because I was relationally strong, and I thought, you know what? I'll just get them to like me. I'll just get them to really like me, and they'll become a time. At, they'll be an ideal time in an ideal place with an ideal situation with an ideal person. That everything will be ideal, and I'll be able to ideally talk to them about the issue, and they will ideally accept it, and they will all be happy, and we will live happily ever after. And that's called a fairy tale. And I lived that for a long time, thinking I could relationally pull everything off. But reality came. Reality came when the fact that I saw that I wasn't relationally that good, and there were some people who basically, after they were in a relationship with me six months on staff, they would say, well, John, you never told me this. And I would begin to correct or begin to, and they said, well, I had no idea. And, and, and I could tell that I was blindsiding people, and I could tell it wasn't healthy. And there were a lot of times they felt that I misused them. There are times I thought I manipulated him because why didn't you tell me back then? Why, why did you wait till now? And all of a sudden, I realized that I had a real failure in this area that I'm going to teach you over these next several weeks on, on the fact that I didn't have upfront expectations. I, 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 I held my expectations until I, quote, got to the right place with them, which most of the time is never the right place. And let me just say this. The longer you withhold expectations of people that you know they need to know and meet, the harder it is for those expectations to become a reality in their life. In other words, the longer you wait, the worse it becomes. And so I learned on the front end, as a leader and as a friend, lay out all of the issues at the beginning. Then you can build on those and develop a good relationship, and no one ever has to feel like you manipulated or blindsided them. So stay with me, because I'm going to share with you five upfront expectations over the next five lessons that will just really help you and that helps me to have the relationship of integrity that we really want with people. Glad you joined me today on Minute with Maxwell.